This here is my Azito Power Exchange battery operated lawn mower. I call it the beast and I absolutely love it. <laughs> it runs on an 18 volt battery, has a 300 mil cutting width with three different height settings and it only weighs eight and a half kilos. There are a few options when you're buying your mower. You can buy it as a kit. You get the mower, a battery, and the battery charger. If you've already got several Azito power tools, you've already got the battery, you can buy just the mower without this, and that's called the skin only. It means you just get the mower, not the battery, not the charger. And there's also another version where you can get a charger and two batteries. When you first buy the mower, you have to do some assembly. You have to attach the handlebars. You have to put them together, screw them in. You also have to put the catcher together. You have to clip in the bottom to the top. There's plenty of clear instructions in the manual and it's easy enough to do. How easy is that? So changing the blades is super easy. I had no idea how easy it really is. All you need is a spanner, the right size for your nut, and you will find that when you do that, it doesn't work. The trick is, you need a piece of wood or a stick or something hard. Just stick it in there, and then, It stops the blade from spinning and you just to unturn it. Same thing applies when you're putting it back on. Tighten it to a certain point and that starts to happen. Put your stick back in. Ah. Piece of wood stops it from turning so you can tighten it up nice and tight. So you've seen the how, now let's talk about the why. I used to have a normal big heavy metal push mower and it was hard work. I couldn't pull it hard enough to get it started and pushing it around was so much hard work. With this little battery mower, because it is so light, it's just so easy to push around. I've actually got a bit of a slope on my front yard and even pushing it uphill, it is so much easier. I also love the fact that you don't have to worry that you've always got petrol in the shed. With this, all you gotta do is charge the battery up. Where is the battery? charge the battery up it only takes about half an hour i think i've never measured it but it's never very long to charge up and if you've got two batteries you can be mowing with one and charging the other one up and that's something i do recommend is getting a second battery a lot of people will say that the cutting width is just far too narrow it's only a 305 mil cutting width and yeah that is pretty narrow but all that means to me is i have to walk up and down a couple of more times it is no big deal and it's also a lot quieter than a regular lawnmower there are a couple of things that I found a little bit difficult putting the battery in is easy enough pulling the battery out can be hard I have to grip it from the front and use two hands because you have to Press this down and pull it out at the same time. And the other thing that I find a bit of a, it's more of a nuisance than anything else, is that to change the height of the mower, you have to, where's she gone? Hello. <laughs> to change the height of the mower, you have to turn the mower upside down and squeeze it.
so yeah as you can see changing the height is a real pain but if you mow regular you don't need to change the height very often anyway so it's just something that you learn to live with there is um, another version of the mower like a with more features and it's got like a, a lever that you just move the lever which would be a lot easier when this mower eventually dies um, I will still be getting an Ozito battery mower but I will be upgrading to a, a better one with a few more features with more height adjustable easier height adjustable and I think it's got a bigger cut as well I've had this mower now for two and a half nearly three years I haven't done a single thing to it other than change the blades and it has not missed a beat I absolutely love it and the thing that that got me when I was looking to buy one I had to do a lot of research I didn't know anyone who had ever owned a battery mower I knew nothing about them so I had to do the research and work it all out for myself and I went through the pros and cons I asked um, a, a, the gardening group on Facebook that I'm a member of and I'm gonna put some funny talking heads at the end of the video if you want to watch that but the general consensus there was it was it was so clear it was so funny that all of the men said no you don't want a little battery Azito mower they're shit and all the women said I've got a battery mower I've had it for ages and I love it and that was a really big factor in me helping to decide plus the fact that they're so light I didn't have to pull it there's no petrol involved um, they're easy to use and it had a five-year warranty and I thought to myself it's a lawnmower for under two hundred dollars with a five-year warranty how could I possibly go wrong and I've never regretted it not not a single day have I regretted buying this little mower when it comes to using the mower you've really got to use a bit of common sense if you are the type of person who only goes out and mows their lawn once a fortnight and lets the grass get really long this mower will not do it it will just cut out the engine will stop and it won't work it's as simple as that you have to use it often regular keep the grass maintained for me that works I enjoy mowing the lawn I live in a I live in southeast Queensland it's a subtropical climate <laughs> I've got a cooch lawn and in summer with the hot days and quite often we get some rain through the night the grass grows it gets long and it gets thick I mow in summer I will mow twice a week and I just kind of take the top off because I I enjoy mowing it is good exercise for me I'm out in the fresh air and it makes the lawn look really good regular mowing helps maintain the lawn and it helps the grass grow thick and lush but you do need to stay on top of it you can't expect this little baby mower to cut your your ankle length whatever type of grass I don't know long stuff because it just won't do it a battery will last me about half an hour it depends on how fast you walk and whether you get your, your lawn done and it also depends on how thick the grass is like if you're just taking the top off you can whip over it really quick um, and you get your whole lawn done no problem if you've left it a bit longer you have to walk slower so that the mower can cut through it it's going to take longer you might run out of charge but again it comes down to common sense So there we go that is my review of the little battery powered ozito mower that i lovingly call the beast if you've got any questions if there's something that i haven't covered please ask me down below like i said i've had it for nearly three years so i'm pretty confident that i can answer your questions and remember i'm going to put those funny little talking heads at the end if you want to watch what <laughs> some of the answers were when i asked the people in the gardening page should i get a little battery mower i've made a little funny thing on some of the replies that i got so i'm going to go and mow my lawn and i will see you next time keep watching bye i have one it's so easy to use well you need to get yourself uh, this particular brand and it's a it's a it's it, 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 it's a push button start and it's got a big capture and and i've had mine for you know oh, 40 years and i've never had to do anything to it oh, it's still as good as the day i was born i've got one of those oh, i love it now i can do the gardening i don't have to nag my husband into doing it anymore wouldn't have me buying one of them people laughed at me when i got mine
but I really like it. it. Does a good job. Oh, the cut's too narrow. You have to do too many extra rows. I'll come cut your grass, baby. 